What's the significance of clothing with fig leaves and skins? Were fig leaves the first fashion trend? If you read the first three chapters of Genesis, you read about God creating the world, all the creatures and even mankind. Everything seemed to be going pretty well until you reach chapter 3. In chapter 3, we see Eve chatting with a snake in the Garden of Eden and eventually being tricked into eating some fruit. And she doesn't want to fall for this alone and so gives Adam some fruit as well. And then it says in verse 7, Then the eyes of both were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. A few verses later, God confronts them about their sin, punishes them and then throws them out of the Garden of Eden. But in verse 21, it says that, And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skins and clothed them. So you must be thinking, why did God need to make clothes for them if they already made clothes for themselves? Was he trying to prove that he is more fashionable or was there a deeper meaning? What was God trying to teach us by replacing the fig leaves with clothes of skin? Well, to answer this question, let's go back to the original passage. Right after they stitched fig leaves together to make clothes, it says that they heard the sound of God walking in the garden and they hid themselves from his presence. When God calls out for them, Adam says, I heard you and I was afraid because I was naked and so I hid myself. Now, wait a minute. Didn't they just make clothes for themselves using the fig leaves? So technically, they weren't naked, right? Then why did they hide from God? Later, before God banishes them from the Garden of Eden, He makes them garments of skin to clothe them. This means that the fig leaves weren't enough to cover their nakedness. But what was the problem? Was it about not having sufficient clothing to cover them up? No. When you look at the original Hebrew text, the words used are ketoneth, meaning garment or tunic in some translations, and the Hebrew word or meaning a skin. So what can we learn from these two Hebrew words? The word ketonet is used not just in the Garden of Eden account, but also to describe Joseph's tunic or coat of many colors and the tunic worn by Aaron and his sons and the Levitical priests. This tunic then alludes to the priestly role that Adam and Eve were meant to play in the temple of creation. The Hebrew word or for skin also has an interesting lesson. Adam and Eve tried to cover their sin with man-made clothing. They rejected God and tried in their own way to grasp at righteousness. But they failed. We cannot hide our sin before God no matter how hard we try. God out of love doesn't leave them in their sin or state of nakedness. He makes them clothes of skin. However, to make the garments of skin, a sacrifice is required. An animal hide to die. A sacrifice is required to pardon our sins. God shows Adam and Eve that the only way to cover their sinful state was through their sacrificial love. This is also seen in God's commandments to the people of Israel to sacrifice animals for the sin and guilt offerings. These sacrifices ultimately foreshadows Christ's death on the cross for our sins. Another interesting connection can be found by looking at the Hebrew words for light and skin, but are pronounced the same, or. So the garments of skin and the garments of light sound the same in Hebrew but highlight two very different realities. In the Bible, we see many references to garments of light and garments of righteousness. For example, during his transfiguration, Jesus is clothed with the garments of light. Or Isaiah 16 which talks about garments of salvation and robes of righteousness. Another interesting thing to note is that before the fall, Adam and Eve walked and talked freely with God, without shame or sin. After the fall, they destroyed their relationship with God. They tried to fix problems on their own by sewing fig leaves together. Considering that they were living in a massive garden, it makes sense that they tried to make clothes out of leaves to cover themselves up. However, fig leaves were probably not the best choice. They are known to be itchy and to cause a burning sensation. So they probably regretted that choice. However, in His unconditional love and mercy, God still provides for them and clothes them. He replaces their harmful man-made clothing with clothes that would protect them and not harm them. He shows them that while they must suffer the consequences of their actions, there is still hope. God will restore His relationship with them. What they lost because of Adam would be restored by the new Adam, Jesus. Now, God didn't make garments of skin because the fig leaves were not enough to cover Adam and Eve fully or that the fig leaves were inherently bad. It was to show us that before God, even our attempts at righteousness are like filthy rags and leaves that wither away. 
Only God's righteousness through the ultimate sacrifice of his son Jesus on the cross can atone for our sins and cover our nakedness. The skins remind us of God's love, mercy and compassion for us. Like it says in Romans 5, God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So, what do you think about this? What other reasons do you think God could have for making garments of skin? How has God shown his mercy and love for you? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, let us know by liking and subscribing to our channel. It really helps us a lot. Until next time.